Hello. Welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor. Now, as you can tell by the title, it's winterized ground kit that is in 50 litres, and there's a lot of misconception behind some of the kit I have. Um, some of the misconceptions are that a couple of the elements inside my pack here are bulky or heavy. Now of course uh, to define heavy is just purely speculative because I don't know what you're capable of carrying. So I'm going to equate my sleeping bag to something akin to a pattern 90 sleeping bag British Army and I've put most of the kit into uh, stuff sacks because that's the way here in the UK that people like to run their kit is to put them individually into stuff bags so that's why I've done it I personally don't I, I'm a bit guilty of being a loose filler just get your sleeping bag down the bottom of your pack your pack is your stuff sack a cadet Bergen and at the bottom there you can clearly see 50 litres MTP several ways to pack one of these whether you choose to strap something underneath as you can see I do have a 6mm bungee elastic to accommodate say a sleep pad I've chose to put everything actually inside for all them doubters I've got a large DD tarp I have at least one or two days clothing space for all the rations and there's probably lots that I haven't mentioned just here I promise you this is a full winterized sleep system in 50 litres I've kept this empty because your rations are going to be so different to mine but that will accommodate at least two British Army ration packs not in the boxes obviously uh, flat packed and stacked but there is also extra accommodation on this part here if you just want a day's rations first thing I pulled out is my Dutch army hooped bivvy mine also incorporates the hooped tent peg section and I've just put in some pegs for it so there is one part of the system now I prefer bivvy camping over tents but a tent would go on top of the snow hood but under the lid so you wouldn't have this inside again I just want to prove that everything for a quality winter bivvy camp goes into 50 litres skeptics just don't believe me that this is possible it's more than possible and in here it's just a big stuff sack let's move this um, just for demonstration I've just put my softy suit in here but it could be uh, your spare trousers t-shirt spare jumper just one set of clothing is adequate enough so softy trousers and softy um, smock one piece and this is the secondary base layer I always like to have a reflector used with my Dutch army pad it takes up hardly any room and yet offers the best kind of insulation and there are plenty of forums how to use something like this so you can use it as an insulator or an isolator I use mine as an isolator it isolates the warmth that I'm generating from hitting the ground as where if you use it as an insulator ie under your sleeping bag it's going to prevent the cold ground from reaching your back as where I want to generate my own body heat onto the mat and isolate that heat from going into the ground I'm using quite a big tarp as well I haven't gone down the road of a super light tarp we can come to the super light setup a bit later 
Now this is the DD um, top, but I've put it in a much, much bigger stuff sack. It's probably twice as big as it needs to be. And it just allows me to put this top straight into this wet and stow it into the actual pack so I don't contaminate the sleeping bag with uh, that moisture which will obviously wick. Inside I have all the ground pegs I need. I'm using ground hogs. I think I've got about 10 of them. Okay, here's the bone of contention right here, which is my buffalo sleeping bag, which again I put into the 90 compression sack. Uh, apologies if it's the 95 um, I can't find any data on this it was a lucky car boot find been after one for ages as you can see it is pretty small so it comes above my head a little turn it on its side there it is going to be slightly bigger than a consumer product consumer sleeping bags are going to be lighter they are going to be smaller but th that isn't what we're talking about here um, it's just more showing you that uh, you can get away with a deep winter uh, buffalo system in 50 litres of course you could free up this pocket and use a roll mat as per discussed in the bungees here at the bottom it's just your preference I prefer to use this down mat. Keep it in the side pocket here so it's separate for it from any shops. And there is a video on most of this kit, including this Xped Down 9 long wide. Okay, that leaves the other side pocket. I don't know how many litres this is, I should imagine it's somewhere between 5 and 8 litres. It's ample enough to get a stove of your choice into there. So let's have it all laid out and let's just see what was in um, that pack there, which I assure you is only 50 litres. The only addition to my 50 litre pack is this belt rig here. And I've put on two utility pouches onto this where I would usually stow um, a 58 pat uh, cook vessel with a water bottle, again 58 pat, and obviously the same on the other side, another BCB cup with pat 58 bottle there, so two litres, uh, a drinks cup and a cooking cup with a stove of my choice in that side pocket. So, I'm going to lay it all out. And you can see it's a simple setup, but yet very effective with the Dutch Army hoop bivvy, the pegs for it, the reflector, that's my tarp, which is the DD 3x3. That is the Buffalo system there. I have both parts in there. Inflatable. And as you can see, the biggest part of that is um, the clothing itself. When I pack all this away, I pack mine a little different. Um, I do have a casing for the Dutch Army hoop bivvy and I do lay it on top of the snow hood but under the lid. I don't particularly bother myself with the stuff sack but once I do put everything in I'm going to weigh it all off. Now I know how much all this is. You only need 50 litres for this. You've seen it with your own eyes. And remember, I know the weight of all this. Um, and when you consider, if you read hiking forums, that lightweight is somewhere around 10 kilos. What's that? 22 pound, just over. At the moment, I'm only using British Army ration packs. You might decide to use something like um, dehydrated foods, some, something like the Mountain House range. And here in the UK, that is going to be about six or seven quid per meal. That is so dear. I'm getting ration packs for that much. It's actually just started raining 
so I can get the basher up just to protect this little camp here. protection in this little shower here this is the original DD stuff sack and as you can see the one that I have has got to be twice the size of it but of course once it's folded in half it becomes much the same size the actual Dutch army hoop bivy section here which you saw just folded much to the same dimensions as the actual pack itself so when I put it in it sits nice and flat on top of all the other equipment I'm only doing this to prove you don't need such a big pack to get all this away in this instance I'm loose stuffing the buffalo right down the bottom of the 50 litre cadet this is not the 120 litre infantry Bergen. It's less than half that at 50 litres. And I can loose fill my two part winter buffalo sleep system straight into this. I just wanted to ensure that when I push down, it fills all these hollow voids at the bottom. I'm going to pack mine, like I said in the beginning, a little differently because it's just how I prefer it. Often I'll just put this straight in because I know I'm not going to be putting some of the pegs and stuff in the inner body here that I'll have no sharps to burst the mat. All my clothing, I'm going to prove to you, will go into a side rocket pocket. If that's the way you want to go down that road. Again, lots of ways we can do this. I'm going to come back to this because this is what the Dutch Army hoop bivy is going to go in and sit on top of the snow hood. Um, not a lot left to put in the main body. I could actually put all the clothing back in here but I'm not going to I'm not going to it's not the way I personally do it but as you saw at the beginning of the VR there there is plenty of opportunity to do something like that the actual bivy now is going to be unfolded lengthways collapsed in its half lengthways rolled from foot end to head end and that should give um, just the correct dimension for this particular zipped stuff sack which originally would have contained uh, my cot bed mosquito No requirement for this bag at all. I could simply just put some elastics around the actual bivy and put that under the snow hood. It just so happens that this bag fits my requirements. 10 pegs I'm going to leave last. I'm going to put my softies in that pocket there. If I get cold on the actual travel to the camp, I just have automatic access to this outside pouch here let's get the basher down and put it into its wet bag when it comes to making your hank I get the end that isn't connected to a tree and we can tie a hank in this way 
if you do it from the other end where the spasher is it won't work I've gone around a number of times I make a twist in this bit here and just feed all that through I do this about two times make a twist so there's a loop feed all that through pull tight when I need to pitch again I just grab this loose end and I pull it to the tree now with one end hanked up like that keeping my hand and feed into that bag Now it doesn't matter if it's been raining, this is waterproof, it's not going to whip any of the moisture onto my kit. And then that the other hank we tied, the other end, which now sits just on top, so it's the first thing I get to when I open this. Pegs away tidy these up later because all this is going to need airing out when I get home goes into the top of the basher bag like that one pack still have room here if I did want to put it inside for this I don't I just want to pack and get the hell out of it so method two of packing your 50 litre completely empty here on the other side pocket ready for your stove don't need the stuff sack for well, mine is a bivy system a bivy bag um, a pad to lie on the sleeping bag to get in no real requirement for the hoochie at all because I have a Gore-Tex rain cover protector for the actual buffalo system but if it rains it is nice just to sit up under your basher or your hoochie so you can do some admin your cooking your washing your cleaning so I personally bring um, a rain canopy as well as my Gore-Tex again your tent would go on top of the snow hood again under the lid a lot of people are going to top quilts now over sleeping bags uh, so next week or the week after i forget when it's being aired but it's already been filmed i swapped out that buffalo and put in a goose down quilt so if that would be something that would interest you um, and you're not subbed already get subbed hit the bell to get the notifications uh, it's aired every friday seven o'clock so don't miss out on this channel because there's a lot of good stuff on it until next time take care of yourself and i will see you out there happy trails kilos. so as you can see it's just uh, over what's considered a backpacker's lightweight system and this is for winter.